These are the ingredients that I'm using today for my casserole. So here I'm just about to take some plain old regular ground beef. Just gonna put it in a hot skillet here. You can hear it sizzle. Just gonna season it up here with plain salt and pepper, just a little bit, just to season the ground beef. My ground beef got nice and brown. Just took it over there to the strainer, drained out all that extra grease, wiped it all out. Just gonna put it back in there. Give it a quick little stir. Just gonna add in these raw diced celery and these raw diced up onions. Let that cook down just a little bit with that ground beef, just so we're not putting raw veggies in the casserole. Okay, this is my one-handed stirring. Not as easy as it sounds. I'm just using a whisk here, just whisking up those cans of soup. Got some cream of celery, cream of mushroom, just whisking it together with some milk. I probably used about two cans worth of milk in total. I like to keep the potatoes moist while they're cooking so they don't dry out because they take a long time to cook. So this is my uh, 13 by 9 baking dish. I sprayed it with some cooking spray and now I'm just going to start layering a nice thin layer on the bottom of the thinly sliced Yukon Gold potatoes. Alrighty then, now we're going to add um, some spoonfuls of this ground beef mixed with the celery and onion and got all the seasonings in it. Just put a layer there. That was two pounds of ground beef, so I'm kind of putting it on thick. All right, now it's time for a layer of this creamy soup mixture. It was a little thick here. I thinned it down with a little more milk. I was afraid I was gonna run out for the other layers. So just put a layer on. Spread it out, make it nice and even. All righty, this is taco blend. I thought that would have extra seasoning in it and maybe be a little better than just plain cheddar. It was really good. It wasn't overly taco flavored. Yeah, I just went ahead and added a little extra milk, thin it down a little more. Like I said, probably two cans worth of milk in total. Whisk it all together, get it smooth. Now 
just going to repeat the layers like so. So I deliberately like to put the sauce on the last layer over top of the cheese because it has to bake for such a long time to get those raw potatoes cooked that the cheese will just get too brown and so this just keeps it nice and creamy. Just a smidge more milk, just so that, you know, it doesn't get too dry during that long baking time. A little tiny bit of salt on top, a little tiny bit of pepper. And 
And then I'm gonna cover it with foil just to keep it moist and keep the cheese from drying out, getting too brown. So that's gonna go into a 350 oven for around 65 minutes. I took the foil off after about 30 minutes. I like just to get a little brown on top. Here it is, fresh out the oven. I let it sit for about 20 minutes before I served it. That big piece is for Ben. Okay, so uh, these potatoes were just begging for ketchup, so uh, I put some ketchup on mine. 